We're in Vancouver, Canada, quite possibly the loveliest city and one where it's possible to go from an office building downtown up to the mountains and lakes and down to the coast for some whale watching all in a day and without using a car. And Envo, who have acquired this, the Vimo, are ensuring this myriad of landscapes can be covered by a whole host of different micromobility solutions, thanks to some very nifty engineering. If you'd like to see everything electric in real life, then come to one of our live shows. Next up, we're in Vancouver on 8th, 9th and 10th of September. Get your tickets today. It is a bit bonkers to always move around in a big heavy metal box when you might just be a single person and a single bag. And if you think about it, batteries give us so much more flexibility. They're basically just energy containers. And if you start thinking about the types of journeys that you need to do, where you need to go, how much stuff you need to carry, how much juice it's going to take, you could end up with something that's super specific to your very specific needs. And double bingo, you might end up not being traffic. Here at Envo, they make everything from e-bike conversion kits, e-bikes, snow bikes, snow trikes, a water bike vessel, a foldable cargo bike, an ATV, a bike bubble thing called Vimo, a trike, you name it. Anything or everything that moves a person. A veritable pick and mix for the e-mobility enthusiast. But what I want to know is why bother making such a medley of different products? The reason that we're providing all of these products is that because people are asking for this problem. We are, we are in direct contact with people. We are uh, we're selling to those people, we're interacting with the people, and because they are identifying us as a solution provider for microelectric mobility, we uh, feel the responsibility on our shoulder to have an answer to any requirement. And the requirements are, are big, are, are, are various. People have different lifestyles, and uh, especially in this part of the world that people are, it's very multicultural and diverse and anything from a rural lifestyle to the a very, very, very urban lifestyle. They need micromobility product to replace in their day-to-day -day living. And we learn from that and we want to provide answers to those, to those requirements. As well as creating these niche micromobility products, Envo also creates some slightly more mainstream things, such as e-bikes and conversion kits, giving a new lease of life to old bikes. This is one of Envo's conversion kits to convert a normal bike into an electric bike. And it really is such a simple kit of parts. There's a front hub motor and new wheel, a battery that you mount on the frame, um, a display unit, a throttle, a controller, a couple of cables, and that's it. And so in about an hour, and for 1,500 Canadian dollars, which is about 900 pounds, you can convert your bike into electric and be hurtling up a hill at 32 kilometers an hour without even breaking a sweat. Now this is one that they've done previously, it's a very normal looking bike, but over there are a load of other conversions that they've done, and that really shows the breadth of different types of bikes that this kit will fit on. But the technology that's in that kit is the same that's in this. This is the Flex Overland, and for £2,000, or 3429 Canadian dollars, you get this sturdy off-road cargo fat tyre electric bike that folds. It's got up to 500 watts of power, double what's legal in the UK. It's pretty punchy, but does mean you can climb some serious hills. Very useful around here in Vancouver. There are a couple of things that I absolutely love about this bike. I mean, firstly, it can carry 180 kilos. That's huge. And if you think about all of the add-ons that you could have, you can carry surfboards or camping kit or whatever you need to go on your adventure. The other thing is that it's a step through, which personally I think is brilliant because if you're in a skirt or if you're in tight trousers or if you just had really achy legs, you can simply step through rather than having to swing a leg across, which is super, super handy. And particularly for the urban version of this bike. And lastly, it's 32 kilos. That's like the size of my niece, which is so, so helpful. And for me, a complete game changer. And especially when you compare it to the likes of a moped, which is nearer to 80 or 100 kilos, having something that's 32, but pretty much does the same thing, that's pretty nifty. So how is all of this possible? How do you design something to be so flexible so you can reuse as many bits and bobs across multiple different product types so it can make sense to create arguably pretty niche vehicles? So the same way that we do the conversion kits, that the same motor and controller can be customized in various type of bikes. We have used the same concept and methodology into other platforms, like platform design. Flex is one good example of it in two-wheeler platform. A, a, a frame and powertrain and battery and motor, and like all of these parts are expensive and we don't have to design a new battery for converting a bike to another uh, use cases. So 
Uh, the same frame can be uh, creating us a cargo bike and the same frame can be used with some additional component to, to create a, an adult trike or even a snow bike. That platform approach is one of the reasons the team at Envo are making this, an all-terrain vehicle or ATV. Top speed of 50 kilometers an hour and amazingly it can tow 350 kilos. This is almost certainly far too gnarly for the park and I feel like some sort of gangster granny. But imagine if you had some sort of mountain rescue or an enormous farm or a massive factory, then this would be absolutely perfect. Mainly because it is so simple. It's essentially all suspension and a few batteries. Extremely simple, but also rather terrifying. But this ATV is really just an amuse bouche for the main course, the UPT, otherwise known as the Utility Personal Transporter. UPT is an e-mobility solution that is going to fill in the gap between the bicycle standard uh, products to electric cars. If you just look around, you don't see a lot of products in this gap. You either see about here, or see cargo bikes, and then you see a pickup, electric pickup truck. Maybe a little bit of cargo trikes in between, but limited to urban use cases. So an off-road capable four-wheeler that can do anything that a truck does, a, an electric truck does. This is one, as one side of the, uh, the use case. The other side is Anything that a microcar, you expect from a microcar for urban, urban uh, lifestyle. And that's kind of astonishing because in these sorts of environments, I personally absolutely don't want to be stuck in a metal box. But let us know what you think in the comments and do like and subscribe to both of our channels, the Everything Electric Show and of course the Fully Charged Show as well.